Hello, it's Simon and the video of the day. Today, I, will, I make a video, uh, what will happen in the future. When I posted for the first time on Facebook in Mountain View in 2012, in the summer, a video of an apparition of the Virgin Mary at Medjugorje, Garlier, it was not for uh, me to explain the future or what will happen in the future. It was to share the greatest hope I have for myself and humanity in front of a very difficult situation I was a witness of in the Bay Area. Uh, they don't describe the, what I see every day in Canada, so I'm from Canada. Alors, uh, in my religion, that is Christianity, as a Catholic, uh, they don't recommend to focus on what will happen in the future. They prefer to uh, be inspired by the gospel and to try to lower the suffering of everybody every day, your own, your family, or others. So they don't recommend to do what I do. But religion has a great impact on how people perceive uh, their life, how they perceive their job or their service, and uh, it influences the decision they make every day. So we have many religions. Jewish, the, the, the faithful, the Jewish faithful, the Muslim faithful, the Christian faithful, the Christian and Jewish and Muslim divide in many branches. After you have Buddhism, Hinduism, allow uh, there's a disagreement. Allow people they say, Phew. I hear that since I'm a child. I will wait uh, after my death to see what's true or not because everybody contradicts everybody. So I study theology, I have a bachelor's degree in theology. Puis, I always was interested to find what will happen in the future because I come from an era of nuclear missiles, nuclear war that is possible, uh, the Soviet Union against the United States, Canada in the st uh, stock uh, squeeze in the middle. So uh, the pollution uh, began of the air, the rivers, but when we were at school, we were uh, 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 sensible, the, the right word, we were uh, educated not to pollute the environment. So in the 1970s, after a major event arrived, uh, peace treaty, the arm reduction treaty, things like that. So as a, uh, if you're Muslim, Jewish or, or Christian, then uh, after a Buddhism, Hinduism, people, they wonder what's true and what's not true. Puis many, they conclude that they're better to take their own decision. Alors, many have a military training or a secret service training. Puis they just believe that you make the best decision you can every day. Puis you cannot be asked more than to take the best decision you can uh, every day. But uh, it depends. There, there's something true. You have to use philosophy and the logic, logic thinking or logic reasoning is a part of philosophy that I studied at school before college. And uh, if you're really interested anyway is to know what will happen or to know how to act or to prepare yourself for an afterlife. Alors, um, everything depends on how many gods you think there is after. Everything depends on how you see an afterlife if, if you think there, there is one. Puis after, how is that famous afterlife? So, uh, Muslim, Jewish, and Christian believe there's only one God. In Hinduism, there's many gods. In Buddhism, Buddha was a human being that was enlightened by grace. So, so what I recommend first look, is to acknowledge what is true for everybody. Before starting a research or reasoning, or to, to read the Qumran, the Torah, or the Bible, or private revelations, or other religion, ben, I recommend to, to uh, establish what is true. So what is true for all human beings is that nobody wants to suffer, nobody wants to cry, nobody wants to hurt, nobody wants to fail, nobody wants to die forever, um, nobody... Uh, want to, to make mistakes, no, uh, nobody uh, wants a child to, to be sick, nobody wants it. Alors, that's true for everybody. Alors, if you go all around the planet, uh, and since the birth of humanity uh, till the end, it's true for everybody. Everybody thinks like that. And it is not in the brain or the cells of the brain, it's more in the heart what... Uh, uh, the heart, 
it's a symbolic thing. The heart, does it mean the soul, the body, the spirit? Alors, that's true for everybody. Alors, if you begin to read the, the Qumran, the Bible, or the, the Torah, or other religions book, then you, you start comparing what you read with that fact that is true for everybody. After people, they say, for example, the Virgin Mary, they say, who tell us that the Virgin Mary is not telling the truth, does she lie, does she tell all the truth? People, they witness, we study that in theology. Every, every day we suffer, every day we get sick. So uh, the, the, the God or the gods are not very efficient. Why should we follow a God when every day we suffer, when we fail, when we are not happy? If a God would be perfect, he would make the life of everybody perfect. Alors, that's what we call an objection to faith. Why should we uh, include a faith in our reasoning making if uh, the gods we follow are not very powerful? Alors, uh, what I recommend before deciding how many gods there is, what is the afterlife, how it works, uh, to compare the, 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 the writings. Alors, Mohammed uh, uh, told that he received a revelation that was public, it means for everybody. After Jesus of Nazareth said, ben, he received a revelation that was public too. Puis Abraham in the, received a revelation. So they said they received an information uh, that was helpful for everybody, information that you cannot find. Alors, many things were written. Alors, you start by the fact that I explained, that is true for everybody, puis you open the Bible, the Torah, or the Qumran, or the religion book, puis you compare. Puis you, you, use your own, you use your own reasoning. After, you can choose a thing, for example, the end of times, it's a better expression than the end of the world, puis you could begin to compare. You choose only that, that, that uh, thing, you compare what the Qumran say, the Torah, and the Bible. Puis after, you can choose, for example, the revelation of the Virgin Mary, private revelation to help people. It's not as the same thing as a public revelation. Puis you begin to compare them. So the first one, the oldest, uh, La Salette, in 1846. Puis you compare to Lourdes Fatima, uh, Garabandal, Medjugorje, puis you compare what is the same, puis what is not the same. Puis those people were pressured to change their, uh, their story. So, alors, there's something true uh, in all of that. All religion talk about love. Puis all religion promote love. So you're not supposed to increase suffering, you're not supposed to increase problems, puis you're supposed to help everybody, puis make Uh, the suffering uh, lower in the world. Alors, uh, that's how I did it. I began by, by uh, comparing things, puis after my own experience, uh, prayer or things like that. So, uh, how you see the afterlife? Some, they think you have an afterlife, but another one, but another one, you get better or you get worse from a life to another. Others, they say it will be like here on earth, uh, good and evil will be mixed. Others, they say it will be separated, evil will be separated from good, Puis there will be a, a renovation, Puis everything will become perfect. Alors, uh, that's the main information uh, to know. Uh, when you begin to read, to compare, and to make your own decisions. But you have to begin, and that's my point of this video, by what is true for everybody.